are you trying to scale chaos? Oops, sorry, I mean, are you trying to scale your business? Every day, entrepreneurs are out there hustling, trying to build their business. They're speaking to customers, they're doing deals. But are you really building your business or are you just scaling chaos? You've got no system, you have no process, you have no plan in place to be able to take your business to the next level. Every day you get up and you hit the ground running. You are busy from morning until evening. But like I said, are you actually scaling chaos? Today I wanna to share with you a couple of concepts and ideas that can help you bring the focus to your business and ensure that you are not scaling chaos, but scaling a growing, thriving business. So let me share with you now a couple of things that you can do to ensure that you are scaling your business correctly. So there are a number of components within a business that you need to ensure are working simultaneously and harmoniously to give you the growth and also to provide you with the business that you are looking for. So let's start with the first component. And the first component is setting the right vision within your business. So ensuring that you align the values that you have in your business and the core focus of your business so that you know exactly what it is that you do and the reason why you do those things. So very important when you are uh, consolidating your business and starting to put a plan into place, you need to start with a clear vision and also a pathway or a, a roadmap of where you're going. Right. We need to know this. What is our 10 year plan? We need to know then closer to home. What is maybe a three year plan? And then you start working on your one year plan. And then in the one year plan, you break those down. And if you can work in quarterly cycles or 90 day cycles, that way you can stay focused. You can achieve your targets and goals for that quarter. And then that quarter sets you up for the next quarter and then the next quarter onwards. And then you've got your 12 month plan in place. After that, you can then realign those with where your three-year strategy and then your 10-year roadmap is. So that's the first thing, getting very clear and understanding your vision. The second thing that you can do and the second component within your business is then aligning the staff within your business. So first up, aligning all of your staff with what your vision is and what your core focus is, ensuring that you have your, your staff understands what it is that you do, why you do it, and that that is what they that is what their goals and intentions are. They are employed not only to earn a paycheck, but they have a personal vision and a personal motivation to do what your business does. So it means when they show up to work every day, they are enthusiastic, they are motivated, and they put everything in. They give 110% in their business. So the second component is ensuring that you're getting your people on track with where, you come, where the company is, and then they want to be part of your business. It's most important. If you've got people that want to be part of the business and they're excited and that is their passion, then it's not a job for them either. They're gonna to come to business and they're gonna give everything and, they, and, and that's gonna obviously allow the business to scale and grow better because they're gonna share better ideas, they're gonna come with concepts and ideas that they may have had somewhere else or some that they've developed while working within the business. So getting your people um, component on track is the second important thing to do. The third thing that you need to do is once you've got your vision, you understand what it is that you do and you've got your people in place, you then have to set some clear KPIs and measurables for the company and then for each person uh, within the company. So that the best way to do that is probably to house that on some scorecard. So develop a scorecard within the company that you can track what it is that needs to be done and who's responsible for those activities and those measurables as well. And then let that trickle down the company. So you may have a major scorecard for the company as a whole, and then have each individual person have some sort of KPI or a measurable that they are responsible for to ensure that you're achieving the 90 day goals, the 12 year, uh, 12 month plan, and allowing you to get to your big 10 year plan if that's the plan that you have. Once you have those scorecards in place, then most businesses 
have issues that come up every single day. There's an issue in, let's say, uh, customers, a customer has an issue, or you have an issue in a supplier uh, delaying the, the, the product. So there's always issues within the business. What you need to be doing is, on a daily basis, you and your staff need to be making notes of these issues. And then when you guys uh, have your me weekly meetings or any quarterly session meetings, you bring these uh, issues out and discuss these issues. So it's important to have uh, to note down the issues because an issue might come up and in, in, without you noting them down, you, you just uh, uh, say, okay, we'll address this later. But then business happens, the day passes by, other issues come up on board, uh, come up, and you might forget about that issue, and you know, without uh, noting that down and then being able to address it uh, when when the, the time comes, that issue is still going to remain there. So the aim of making a note of those issues is to be able to come back, address those issues, and then make them go away permanently, so you don't find that that issue comes up again later on uh, in another activity or on another day. Once you've got those issues in place, then the next thing you should be able to do is be able to document them. So create some clear and some core processes within your business. So you, you've got your staff in place, you've got your measurables that you need to be targeting and you understand and you're kicking out these uh, issues. Now you can start creating and documenting the process within the business. Because when you bring on a new staff member, the time that it takes to train them up and get them um, to understand how the business operates and the procedures in there can take time. But if you've got a set of procedures in place, and these don't need to be lengthy, you know, standard operating procedures, thick manuals, they can be just steps, you know, 10 steps to, to do this task or six steps to be able to deal with the customer if a customer has a problem. So having some core processes clearly identified and then simplified by just noting down what are the most important steps to get those uh, processes and those activities completed. That, that way, uh, like I said, if a new staff member comes on board, they can quick and immediately fall into place and if you've got staff members moving from department to department, it makes it easy for them to be able to transition into that department because the processes are not complex. They're not thick manuals that anyone needs to read. They're quite simple. And then very lastly, which is, which is what is called the, the, our sixth component, is our traction component. And that component may, basically means getting everybody the bringing the vision down and executing on that vision on a daily basis. So, Everyone has their measurables, everyone has their activities and targets, ensuring that that is followed through and checked up on when you have your meetings and your quarterly sessions. And the important thing as well is to set up your meetings to be productive. So you don't want to have these lengthy long meetings where people are just arguing and fighting and nothing is getting achieved. You want to have a structure, you want to have an agenda to run your, your, your meetings, maybe your weekly meetings, your monthly meetings, as well as your quarterly meetings. There's a set agenda that you follow and you are ticking off items and you are um, uh, completing tasks and you are eliminating issues that arise in the business. So having uh, a really structured agenda and a, and a plan when you run your meetings. So when you put these six components that I just covered off in, into practice within your business and you execute on that on a daily basis, you will stop scaling chaos and rather you will be scaling a thriving and a productive business and you will know that you've got the right people in place to, to help you scale and you are tracking the right measurables as well in your business. So stop scaling chaos and scale a profitable, thriving business.